Okay, so this is a follow-up to my 128 gig RetroPi video, uh, just to show you how to get extra ROMs on there, because not all systems are covered. There's loads of stuff on there, and it is great, and I'm really impressed by it. Um, but, uh, but if you want to add more, I want to do a ZX Spectrum video next, so I needed to add ROMs to that. So what you want to do is format your USB stick to FAT32. Uh, then if you open that up, and create a folder, a new folder called RetroPie. That's the only thing you need to do initially. Then you want to eject that USB stick and pop it in your Pi, uh, running RetroPie. So when it boots up, it will detect that folder and it will create within that folder three different folders, BIOS, configs, and ROMs. Uh, and then once you've got that in your Pi, you can then switch off your Pi, take your USB stick out, put it back into your computer, uh, and then you want to add your ROMs. So if I go into the ROMs folder, you can see that all these have been created by RetroPie. And all of these are named in exactly the right way that they need to be named, so that when you put ROMs in there and you boot up RetroPie, it's going to search through those folders and add them into RetroPie. So, my next video is going to be ZX Spectrum. So if I open that up, you can see that I've added several ZX Spectrum ROMs in there. Uh, and these are down as zip files. Now, some systems you may need to unzip it to be able to use it with RetroPie. In the case of Spectrum, I'm pretty sure it works as zip files, so I'm going to go with that for now. Obviously, we'll find out if it works or not in a minute. Uh, once that's done, uh, once all your files are in there, obviously eject, safely eject your USB stick. And on a Mac, you need to tell it you're ejecting it. You don't have to on Windows. So let's go over to the Pi and have a look. Okay, so it's all booted up, uh, and you can see that it's come on to 3DO, uh, which was from a previous video. There's actually only five games in there, it says six. Um, but the reason for that is I've been experimenting with ROM scraping, because if I scroll down here, you'll see that the games haven't got any information on them. So what I can do is hit start, uh, select scraper, and scrape now. Uh, and then I'm going to turn only on 3DO. Right, I'm going to turn everything else off or unselected. There you go. And uh, yeah, everything, everything is unselected apart from 3DO. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to do user decides conflicts. I'm going to turn off because I'm not really that worried. Hit start. And you can see that it's starting to pull in the artwork. Now, all of these games were in folders. Uh, and what I've done is taken all of them out of folders, uh, apart from one. I think Soccer Kid is the only one that I uh, have still got in a folder. But, yeah, because I wanted to check. So you can see here, uh, so if I go to that second Gex, you can see the artwork comes up straight away. Need for Speed, it all comes up, all the information, Road Rash, Shockwave. But Soccer Kid, the information doesn't come up. That's because the ROM is inside another folder. So if you click on it, it does come up. But if you want this to be as seamless as it can be, you really want those files to be uh, just in that uh, 3DO folder or ZX Spectrum folder or whichever system you're using. Uh, and I've done a, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment about Spectrum as well because the same thing was happening with Spectrum. There's no information on there because I haven't ROM scraped yet. Uh, but uh, a lot of these files were zip files. So what I've done is I've unzipped a few and I'll do that ROM scraping again, but I'll do it just for spectrum so let's turn off everything there you go so just spectrum is selected uh, and user decides on conflicts so i'm going to turn that off hit start doesn't seem to like to find much from um the spectrum one for whatever reason there are there is another database on there and there's another way of doing this but i thought i'd cover this one uh, just because it was very simple to do. So if I can, if I now go back and go into that Spectrum folder, what am I going to get? So none of these, and some of these, to be fair, were uh, aren't the original uh, releases. They they've been remade, sort of fan makes, uh, or you know after the Spectrum had kind of gone out of production. So you can see that ping pong. It's done perfectly, and it's got the tape art. Uh, there's no video images there, but whether you've got to do that on a separate thing. But you can see that Konami's Ping Pong and Ping Pong.tap. So again with the Spectrum, if you want this to work 
properly and come up on that first page, you need those files not to be in zip folders. And I can mess about with that later. Uh, it depends if, if I want that. Rainbow Islands it did find on its own. Um, but uh, yeah, so unzipping that Konami's ping pong has meant that it's properly done it now. So that's a bit of ROM scraping. If you've got more information on it or better ways of doing it, I have been suggested uh, in the comments to try uh, another scraper, which was through the RetroPie menu. But I thought I'd try this one first and see how it worked. And actually, for the 3DO especially, uh, it's worked really well because all of the ones that were unzipped, it has found. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.